So this video is going to be about why I decided to major in philosophy as a software engineer. First, I want to make it clear that I've already finished my major. I graduated in uh, 2017 and I've been working in industry for almost three years now as a software engineer. And I think I'm at a point where I can honestly say that my philosophy major helped me out way more than my computer science classes did. Uh, for my career as a software engineer. I'm not saying that computer science classes aren't valuable. They, they definitely are. And I think there's a lot of value in knowing the data structures and algorithms. But what philosophy gave me um, that I think a lot of people don't realize philosophy does is it teaches you how to think critically, how to reason. Um, and as a software engineer, you're really, your job isn't to memorize algorithms and to like apply all this code um, and have this perfect knowledge of all things computer science. It's actually... Uh, to problem solve and philosophy helped me do that at a, at a very unique perspective that I didn't get in any of my other classes Many people don't realize this about philosophy, but it's very uh, heavy in formal logic. So mathematical proofs, right? So you got to prove how you got from uh, premise a B C to a certain conclusion and That is if, if you're familiar with the field of computer science um, it's very similar to functional programming um, and Today, it, it, functional programming is kind of where the industry is headed. You look at languages like Elixir, Elm, F Sharp, Scala. Um, th this is really kind of where the industry industry is trending. And philosophy really set me up in a position where I could reason through my code and understand that functional paradigm in a way that a lot of even CS uh, majors who I know uh, can't really grasp quite yet. Now, when I was majoring in philosophy, I actually didn't know about functional programming at the time. Um, I was just taking uh, computer science classes on the side. I was a programmer as a hobbyist, and I, I kind of knew that, that that's what I wanted to do. But I majored in philosophy because I felt like um, my interest was there. And also, it just seemed like it was teaching me how to think and how to think at a very fundamental level that I could take with me in all areas of my career, whether I stay as a, a software engineer or I start uh, working into management or even just starting my own business. Um, there's just a lot of value to being able to to think from first principles. Um, I think Elon Musk is a very uh, often quoted entrepreneur that says that his physics background gave him the, the ability to think in first principles. And it's, you know, it's, it's interesting because with computer science, um, it really was the combination of math, philosophy, um, and physics that kind of created this this uh, this discipline. So it's it's definitely I find I find it very interesting when people kind of scoff, you know, at, at, at like if they find out you studied philosophy um, and and you're working as a software engineer because there are way more uh, commonalities than there are differences between the two fields. So philosophy helped me with the uh, functional programming paradigms, um, but but really. Uh, you know, not just that, there's there's a lot of uh, non-technical skills that you bring to the table with, with a degree or background in philosophy. You're able to reason and to present arguments um, in a very concise manner that allows um, you to get straight to the point. Like if you're in a meeting and you feel like you might have a better idea on how to implement a certain solution, having a philosophy degree really helps you communicate clearly why that's going to be beneficial to the company um, and present, you know, a very simple argument uh, with just simple premises to a conclusion in a way that really helps people understand clearly um, why it might be a good idea. Another thing I want to bring up too is philosophy. It's it's incredible how philosophy can actually help you become more empathetic in the way that you think and observe the world. It's kind of like that saying, you know, like the more the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. And what's interesting about philosophy is is uh, and not not to get too personal but like me myself i i'm a believer I, i'm religious and i believe in a god um but while studying philosophy i could totally see how a lot of my friends who are atheists could think uh, um you know in a different in a different way and it helped me realize like oh my gosh you know there's there's a lot of uh angles and dynamics to think about life and even though i might not agree with somebody's opinion i can empathize in a way that i wasn't able to um, before, because I realized that my solutions or my answers aren't necessarily always going to be correct. Um, so bringing that back to like meetings and stuff, you know, if, if you present an argument in a meeting, but somebody else has a better argument, um, having that, that, that background in philosophy of, of how to, how to think about even the word argument, you know, um, it, it's not this argumentative, um, you know, conflicting, um, high intensity conversation. It's more of just, 
who can present a more clear, concise argument that's reasonable to move forward with. Um, and it kind of takes the ego out of the equation. So another thing that uh, philosophy helped me with is writing JIRA tickets. You know, if, if you're already a software engineer, you, you probably know what a JIRA, t a JIRA ticket is. And um, if you're not, it's basically a Trello card, you know, that product managers will write out and give specifics, you know, of what uh, the product needs to accomplish, right? The use case of the product. And as a software engineer, you kind of sometimes have to put on a product hat at times and uh, refactor in a sense that, you know, the way that things are worded so that other engineers can can better understand um, um, what the product manager is trying to convey. Because the product manager isn't always going to have the technical abilities to say, hey, you know, we, we need to append, you know, a certain item to an array to get this to happen. Um, but as a software engineer, you know, if you can really improve that skill set, those soft skills of being able to write clearly and effectively, you're going to help your whole team out. You're going to help them be able to see the vision. Um, and so it's, it's, it's really beyond just the technical that you're getting, you know, with your degree as, as a philosopher. Now, another reason to study philosophy, um, as a software engineer, and this, this is probably by far my favorite, uh, reason is the implications with artificial intelligence. Right now, artificial intelligence is huge. It has the potential to change how um, how we govern society. And that's a lot of power and responsibility that is, quite frankly, in the fingertips of a lot of software engineers. And it almost starts to feel like there's a moral obligation for software engineers to start researching and understanding, you know, what these um, what these great thinkers in the past um have dreamed of with with automata and you know robots and and how that can impact you know human life and so I know it sounds very sci-fi and 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 uh, you know science fiction but the reality is you know whether or not machines are conscious or or uh, you know you, you know they they have free will and stuff all that aside the reality is is if philosophy um, excuse me not if AI has um, the potential to you know generate um, an incredible amount of wealth or it has the potential to, um, to, to disrupt and change the world. Um, software engineers are programming these algorithms and this is kind of a very exciting time for us to like, um, to kind of take control of that situation and decide what we want to do with it. Are we going to help humanity out or is it going to, you know, destroy humanity? Um, and it, to me, this really gets me excited. It, it, it it's a huge, uh, responsibility that I think software engineers are going to have in the near future. Um, and that, that is ultimately kind of why I decided to, to major in philosophy as a software engineer was because of the implications of artificial intelligence. Now, the last uh, reason I want to touch on in this video of why I believe that philosophy is the best major for software engineers, um, is philosophy teaches you how to attack problems from different angles that, um, get around certain bias that you may have. And so if you think about it this way, you know, um, a lot of majors like computer science, um, th they do teach you how to think to an extent, but a lot of it is just, uh, what to think, you know, like, um, what algorithm solves this or, you know, what technologies are, are normally used in this scenario and, and things that people have already figured out, which is, is great. That knowledge is, is excellent to have. And I, every day I'm, I'm trying to gain more of that knowledge, um, to, uh, get better in, in my field. But, uh, what philosophy does is it kind of, it, it, it allows you to, to break things from, from, from the bottom up, kind of going back to the first principles, but attack things at a different angle that, um, you know, maybe people haven't really quite, um, thought of yet. And it's, it's, it's interesting how, you know, with bias and with, with, uh, blind spots, you know, certain blind spots that you might have of how you think, um, can really hinder you as a software engineer in your problem solving abilities. And that is one of the main aims in philosophy is to help you recognize and see these blind spots and to see that, um, not, not everyone has the solution. Um, and you know, I, I think it was Steve jobs once said, you know, when, once you realize that, uh, you know, nobody else is any smarter than what, than you are. I don't know what he means by that quote, but you know, the takeaway that I got from that is like, um, um, there, there's a lot of foundational principles out there to be discovered still. Right. And as a software engineer, not only are you inventing and creating, but you're also discovering. And, uh, in order to discover, you need to have that clean slate, that, that, um, ability to think, um, 
without being fogged by maybe other people's opinions and solutions that have already been, you know, really ingrained. So, well, that's it for today, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I actually have a, a really good medium article on this topic. I think it's called like, um, you know, why you should major in philosophy as a software engineer. I can't remember the title exactly, but, um, I'm going to post that uh, down below in the description. Feel free to give it a read and, and share and, um, it, you know, I, I've gotten an incredible amount of responses from it. And I think that this is actually an area that, um, that, uh, we can really take advantage of, um, and improve as software engineers. So if you like the channel, you know, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe and I hope to see you guys here soon. Thanks.